All right, guys, what's up? This is Bearded GDO reporting live from Hollywood Sports Park. I'm here on the Giant Tactical Stadium. This is uh, your next project upgrade video. Today, we're going to go over laning. Uh, a lot of players are constantly talking to me about different forms of laning, different issues that are having with laning. I recently just watched a lot of young kids at the Bears Cup laning, and I feel like laning is one of the most instrumental things in a game because that's how you get those Gs off the break. And everyone wants to eat right when the game starts. So the first important thing of laning is when your gun's up, you really want that gun nice and tight and tucked into your shoulder. See, a lot of kids, what they think is they need their gun sideways or, you know, they got to have their gun in these weird, awkward positions. It really doesn't do much for you. So you really want that gun nice and tight and straight. Now, when you're starting on that lineup, you know, on that gate, don't have your gun in an awkward position where it's going to be hard to grab it when the game starts. If you're going to be shooting on the right side of that field, you want your gun very easily able to whip to that right side of the field. So when I start on a game and I know I'm going to be laning for a corner, first thing I do is I keep my gun nice and tight on the, on the starting gate. Now right when I bring that gun up, I'm shooting for the corner. So I'm gonna shoot before he slides into the corner. Now I already kind of discussed basics of, of laning, but really what I wanna kind of give you guys is a little in-depth drill you guys can do. So one constant drill that I learned growing up, I actually learned this from Billy Wing uh, when I used to train with all the Ironman kids and Billy taught me this drill, is he would get a soccer ball and he would roll the soccer ball. And really what we would do is we would take our gun and try to shoot that soccer ball as it was moving. So basic drill you guys could run when you're at your local field or you're with your teammates, someone stands on the other side of the field and he just rolls a ball. Soccer ball, basketball, anything that rolls. Obviously not a football, we out here learning about geometry, but it's gotta be able to roll. So roll that ball and you stand, and right when he rolls that ball, you call game. You bring that gun up and you follow that ball, right? Now you don't chase it, you follow it. That means you're shooting in front of it, trying to make sure he runs into your paint. Now in the beginning, you're gonna realize you can't do it from the other side of the field. You really gotta start small. So roll it about from the center 50 yard line, you bring that gun right here, right when that ball starts to roll, you start shooting it, and as it goes in, that's when you blast it. So it's a very basic drill you guys can run when you're at your local field on the weekends doing laning drills. The other important thing with laning is, when you walk your field, find a spot on the field where you can kind of ghost and hide without actually being in a bunker. So instead of having to run to your bunker first and get wide and try to shoot him, you really can kind of just stop in the open, take a nice little knee, take a step, and just get that gun up instantly. Now a lot of players do this in the pro league. It's a really good technique. Some players frown upon it. But listen, if you can hide in the open and you can shoot a player running to his spot before he even has a chance to get his gun up, then you're winning. And out here we're trying to win. So it's a very simple technique. You find a spot. Now that comes down to walking the fields, which we'll also talk about. So this is a basic drill for running and shooting, or basic drill for laning, excuse me. And basically all you want to do is practice getting that gun up quick right when the game starts. Bear to GDO, the project upgrade.